Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a monthly roundup. Not exactly at the beginning of the month, not exactly at the end of the month, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I found time to film and this is what I want to talk about. Products that I've liked in the past one, two months, um, products that I want to update you on that maybe I had in my hauls and a ton of empties actually. Um, I have a full uh, tub here, so we need to get this started. Let's start with nice things and updates on uh, makeup and skincare that I bought recently. I'm gonna start with a favorite and it's also an empty. And this is the First Aid Beauty uh, Ultra Repair Cream. I have a um, deluxe sample size. I just put him down. I just put him down. He was sleeping. He was sleeping. Luckily, there's a dad to take care of the one kid when mama is just starting to film. Anyways, um, I would say the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. I, this is nothing you knew, but it came into a Look Fantastic box, I think, um, at the end of last year, and I finished it. It's really, really good. My skin has been on the sensitive side recently. I've been having flare-ups of like redness and heat depending on uh, what sunscreen I was putting on, for example, or also after double cleansing. So um, I've been really, really appreciating such a um, thick cream that didn't feel occlusive or greasy, but just really nice and comforting. It was like, like a hug for my face. Really enjoyed this one. I'm gonna miss it, I think. I have other moisturizers to try though, so we're gonna uh, see if I will ever get to purchasing that one. Then what I am wearing today on my lips, which is uh, MAC Cosmetics, it's called Posh Pit. It's one of the new Luster Glass lipsticks, and in my haul I um, discuss how this is really a new formula compared to the old Luster. It's not the same formula. It's really a more modern formula, it's creamier, it's not just sheer, um, it, it really feels like it's hugging your lips, that it's um, hydrating. I'm really really enjoying it, it's a perfect nude for me, no uh, one of those like no fuss, just throw on a lipstick type of shades. Um, I have today a little bit of a lip line um, on just to uh, make sure the lines are sharp, I find that it looks better on my face. And um, yeah, just really, really enjoying this. I would definitely consider uh, going in store and looking at more shades because they're just, I really, really like the formula. And definitely it's something that I feel is very now with the sheer, creamy, very comfortable lipsticks. A mention to confirm how nice this palette is. I have a, a get ready with me with it and um, I discuss a little bit the problem I have with uh, the packaging, you can see uh, mine uh, is oily here and around this shade. These two shades broke in transit. Um, the brand already sent me new ones to put in because the palette itself is magnetic. But other than that, um, the, the oil is kind of like has dissolved around the pa packaging so much that it doesn't bother me as much. And the quality of these is just really, really good. One thing is I was expecting to use it more, to want to use it more, but the shades in here are somehow not inspiring me as much. They are gorgeous. Every time I use it, the shimmers are so impactful, the mattes are really easy to blend. I'm really happy with it. It's just not the palette that I reach for every single day. And maybe, like, it's me because I am... I don't know, I don't feel like I have a palette that I reached for every single day, but I'm still like looking for it somehow. Um, the Glaminatrix, nearly natural though, really, really good. Difficult to get a hold of, you have to buy it from Australia and pay a big shipping fee and then also pay taxes on it uh, when it, uh, import taxes when it arrives. So it's not the easiest one or the cheapest one to get your hands on, but it's really beautiful. Um, just make sure that the color story is what you really, really want. And tell me what you want, what you really, really want. No. Um, <laughs> so I don't regret buying it, but I wouldn't go and buy it again if, uh, if I would have to talk to Alice from the past. A 
palette that instead I did not expect to reach for every single day, that instead is has been very friendly to me, is the Glam palette. It's what I'm wearing today on my eyes and somehow I understand why people love this one so much. It's easy, it works, you are done in five minutes with a, a makeup look that looks like it took you much longer or that is uh, elegant and put together and the formulas are great, really easy to use. What more do you need? It's maybe not exciting, um, it's maybe not that special, but it's a, it's a workhorse. I totally understand where people come from when they love, love, love this. Again, I'm just always in this corner, loving these warmer um, shades, and this shade right here is what I have on my um, uh, lid today, and it's absolutely stunning. I might end up like, Re rehousing these shades, especially these two silver or grays, and uh, putting them somewhere else because I'm not really wearing them. But I do like the palette, surprisingly so, because I thought I would be absolutely bored by it. And I'm not. More eyeshadow wins. Uh, I've been a bit on a purchasing kick, I guess. Um, the uh, Vizard matte palettes. I've been purchasing these on Vinted, they are used, I don't want to spend 80 euros on a palette and if you want to buy them new I would definitely recommend going for the mini versions. The problem with that is that I couldn't find them second hand so I didn't want to buy new because I have so much eyeshadow that I feel like I don't, I don't know, this is a way for me to um, scratch an itch at a lower budget and feeling like I'm not putting more trash into the world somehow. Um, it's just to keep my brain happy. But I've been really, really enjoying these eyeshadows. The, the formula of these is stunning. I recently did a look with, wait, this pink right here. I think by the time this video goes up, I'll have posted it on my Instagram. I was just home, it was the five o'clock in the afternoon, I had nowhere to go, nothing to do, I had, the babies were down, and I was like, I'll just play with makeup. And I said, oh, let's, let me use this pink. How well this pink blended it was amazing. I was so happy with it, really, really impressed. And uh, the dark purples um, in here that I used to deepen the look, also really, really nice. The only thing maybe I could say is that they don't go as deep as they look. Like this shade right here wasn't enough to deepen my look. I had to go in with um, this shade right here and maybe even um, I think a, a darker brown to really deepen the outer corner. So they're not as dark as they look, but the formula is amazing. I'm so happy. And I really like the new packaging, by the way. I have both the old and the new and the new feels so much nicer. Still in the simple but really effective and it feels also a little bit more this really feels cheap um the, the square design and the lightweight cap uh right here how it, how it opens it really feels cheap whereas this one has a much nicer finish to it and um the closure is nicer just a very nice upgrade that they did there now let's move to updates of products that i've been trying and using um, one is the Body Shop Chamomile Dissolve the Day Makeup Cleansing Oil. And I've bought this one because I used to love the old version. The old version was in a bigger bottle with a pump. The problem with that was that the pump was leaking all the time. Like my bathroom underneath where I put this was always oily. And um, the new packaging is better. But I find that the product is maybe a fraction less effective than the old one. So now with this one, I'm having a little bit more of a hard time removing my mascara and funny enough, my brow gel. This is a 24 hour brow setter by, by Benefit that I use. This one doesn't come off with the oil and uh, I use a microfiber cloth to remove uh, the oil. So first uh, I, I rub in the oil on a dry face, which is really nice, kind of a mini massage and then um, I remove it with a wet cloth. And it doesn't remove everything from my lashes and brows, but um, it does remove everything from my face and lips 
and eyeshadow and things like that so i'm happy enough with it that because i'm having a little bit of a sensitive period when i wear makeup i will use this with a cloth and then not go in with another cleanser again so i'll simplify a little bit my cleansing routine because i feel like even going in with a gentle cleanser afterwards um my skin is a little bit angry and it, it is maybe the cloth but I feel like the cloth is really necessary to get all the grime of the day and the makeup off. So I prefer to skip the cleanser. And then when I go in with my toner on a cotton pad or my acid toner on a cotton pad, then um, I don't find any residue of makeup. The only thing, as I said, is mascara and I feel a little bit of uh, the brow gel still on my brows. So overall, it's inexpensive. It's an oil. If you like that texture better than a, than a balm, which I like uh, both, to be honest and i would i'm happy to use it i don't know if 100 percent if i would repurchase or use this as my daily uh, makeup remover yet i'm not super sure it's it's uh it's a seven it's not a nine type of deal one product that i'm a bit sad to not bash but like complain about is the rosing uh, skin enhanced luminous tinted serum i have the shade 040 and that's the first problem it's too light for me um i have it applied today but i did powder and bronze and tried to bring it all together it kind of makes my skin looks look dry close up it doesn't look good close up so if i look at myself in my, my at myself in the mirror it just doesn't look that great um would i need maybe a more moisturizing or a, a, a more hydrating moisturizer underneath maybe but today i even put a primer which is this one right here which is the wonder glow instant soft focus beauty glow primer by charlotte tilbury and i didn't see a difference really with how this one went on so I need to keep trying to find a way to make it work. It's very light, so I have to use it now and then next winter to then be able to use it up. To be honest, I wish, I wish I had the right shade and uh, then I would be happier to give it even more of a, of a try, even more effort to make it work. This is just doesn't look good like it, it makes me look really pale which doesn't make me feel very good about myself um because it, it just wipe, wipes me out and yeah not super happy with this one i wouldn't right now i wouldn't repurchase i prefer the um fenty eavesdrops rather than that one another product that i'm so so about is the elf lip stain i have the shade cinnamon and uh, I kind of ha went on a little bit of a rant on this one during my project pan updates, but it's just not that great. The color is the first thing that's not that great. It's very yellow based brown and um, it just doesn't look very good on my lips. It's a bit, it's a bit sheer and that is not the problem. Um, but it also doesn't really stain my lips it, because anyways stains are um, the molecules that stain your lip tend to be pink and that's why the most effective stains are the pinks um, this one just doesn't look very good it doesn't stain that much it's not particularly emollient particularly comfortable particularly pretty so I don't know I have it in my project pan I'll keep using them using it until I reach the 10 times and then I'll decide what to do with it so here you go see teeny tiny bit of stain but not really useful another update and it's not in my favorites only because I don't feel so strongly about it is about the Nabla Cupid Zaro the new one in the shade Kaki this I love the formula. The brown one is my favorite uh, of all times, my favorite brown liner of all times. I have it, I'm almost finishing it and I'm really tempted to buy it again, but I won't because I will use other brown sh uh, liners first. But so I love the formula of this. The color, however, is on the lighter side compared to what I like to use. Um, my favorite is Night by Neve Cosmetics and this is how much I have left and it's discontinued, which... Mm, makes me really worried and here you can see a bit the difference so when i use liner on the outer corner of my eye to 
deepen and give an illusion of a, of a lifted eye. Uh, the Nabla one doesn't really do it as much. The other one that I really like is the shade Dagger by Neve Cosmetics. And that is a more forest green, which you see that they're quite deeper than the Nabla one. I wish they had gone a little bit deeper, that's all. I uh, really love the, the the color in itself. Just It's just not just not dark enough for my liking. And those were the updates for the month. We can, we should move on to the empties. And there's two categories, products I use up and products I had to toss <laughs> because they were over old, whatever. Let's start with products that I have had to toss. The Magic Foot peeling shoes. These were so um, in years ago. This expired in 2019. It was made in 2014. No, that can't be. That must be the, the batch that ends in 14, in 14. But it says expires in 2019. So that's been four years. That it, Because I've been saving these. Like, oh yeah, I'll use them before the summer. And then I always forget. And <laughs> I went to look at uh, what masks, what stuff I had in my bathroom. And yeah, had to throw it away. The other thing is this Revlon 3-in-1 cocktail color care and shine. Um, it's called the Nutri Color Creme. I have the shade 600 Fire Red. This is my favorite colored conditioner. It's kind of a it's a three minute mask, and you apply it in the shower. After, well, I don't know. I used to apply it and then I don't know, wash my body, shave, scrub, do all the things that I, were a bit of a longer beauty routine in the shower, and then wash it off. It's red, so it will stain things around it, but it is extremely, extremely effective at conditioning the hair. Thing is, I don't have like really, really red hair anymore. I, I, it, it's dyed on in more of a mahogany uh, reddish brown, and I, it doesn't bleed as much, and I don't need to refresh it in between. I've had this for a very long time, um, years at this point, I love it, but I know I'm not gonna finish it, so I'm uh, tossing it away, it's very old. Another thing that's going is this Batiste dry shampoo, also extremely old, and I don't use dry shampoo. I had this mini, I really liked it because I could take it with me um, to the gym before work, for example, and then do a little bit of dry shampoo if it wasn't hair wash day. Um, but I don't go to the gym before work anymore, and um, I just don't use dry shampoo almost ever. I end up, yeah, this is to, tomorrow is hair wash day. So today it's ponytail day. <laughs> um, I just don't bother um, using dry shampoo. This is old, it's small. It, there's not much left, there's maybe this much. So that one is going. Another thing that's going is Witch Hazel. I've had this uh, since before Andrea. It has a period after opening a power of six months. So Andrea is two years old this week. So it's over for sure and I don't want to use witch hazel on my skin so I'm just tossing it um, nothing mm -hmm. to say about it there I had bought it to make postpartum pads if anybody cares which I didn't need because I had a c-section more things expire that I'm tossing unfortunately is this uh, Echo by Sonia face tan water this was sent to me by the brand with other skincare items this is really really nice I use very little but that's because you need so little this is a very um, lightweight self tanner it's a water so you apply it on your hand and you use it like a toner and it gave a really gradual um, tan that wasn't like you can't really go wrong with this it gave you just a little bit of tint a little bit of glow it's not as much as the, the um isle of paradise drops it was just a very easy you can use it every day type of thing so really liked that but now it's been open for more than a year and uh, it is expired and it being a natural brand i'm not gonna put this on my face anymore because uh, they go on and on about how they are all natural no preservatives um, vegans and, and thing, organic and things like that so I'm not gonna put it on my face once it's past its um, due and I know that I will never be able to finish it because I've only used up to here. Too bad but I did use it quite a lot and I enjoyed it. I'm tossing this Bioven chest lift mask 
it's a boob mask. I got it as a gift was purchased from an order at some point, very, very long ago. I will never use a boob mask. I just use moisturizer on my body. I'm not gonna do a boob mask, please. Don't need that in my life. Um, something that I'm throwing is also this Rituals Happy Mask in uh, um, Sweet Orange and Cedar. This is a bed and body mist. I don't use bed mists. I don't use body mists. And I don't love the scent. The end. <laughs> I think it was like a gift with purchase of, of, of at some point. I'm also going to toss the Polystress Clear Daily Skin Clearing Treatment Extra Strength. This is the one with benzoyl peroxide, with 5% benzoyl peroxide. Not, don't need it for my skin type. It was a gift and I just, I don't, I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to throw it away. Um, it expires in April this year and I know that I'm not going to use it by that time. Another Paula's Choice item that unfortunately is expired, this one expired in January this year, is the Ultra Sheer Daily Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This used to be my favorite holy grail um, everyday SPF. This is from the Skin Balancing line, so perfect for oily combination skin. And um, I, I just, it's expired. <laughs> <laughs> and an SPF that is expired um, is not, uh, I cannot keep. I have another one in in use that is not expired, so I wasn't really worried about that. I'm just sad that I didn't get to finish it, but um, with these things, it's just what it is. I am lucky enough to get these um, the sunscreens gifted most of the time, so um, I'm not crying about it. Inside, yes, because I would have liked to finish it, but that's another thing. Another expired item that I mentioned before is my milk uh, bronzer. I understand why they stopped making this size. Like milk now only sells the mini size of these uh, bronzers, both bronzers and blushes. And now they have also contour sticks. This is ginormous, nobody will ever finish it. And um, I had to like get chunks off the top because it was, it had had hard panned, but it also smells really weird like crayons and uh, it being a little bit of a cleaner brand, again, expired. Gonna toss it, very sad, love the color, love the product, but I'm not gonna go and uh, uh, keep using it because it's expired. Part of my project pan is to finish all of my um, sheet masks and I put an effort into it this past period, so I finished one, two, three, four sheet masks, of which one is a hand, there's, uh, and the rest is three face masks. I will not really say anything about it. I, I don't think face masks do that much for my skin. I enjoy using them mo more to make my daughter laugh because I, I put it on while she's in bath so that I can just hang out with her and then she laughs at me because I have a sheet mask on, which is really cute. So, um, yeah, they're nice, but more for as a treat than actual effective skincare. It's not something I would repurchase necessarily. And by the way, we are at the empties now. I finished a Paula's Choice 2% uh, BHA. Love this. I have a jumbo size in use. So um, I've been using this for five, six years by now. I really like it. I colored my hair. Yay. Can you see that? You, can, you cannot see my grace. Because I recent I colored them last week. This is the Medipeel Lacto Collagen Ampoule. I received this from YesStyle to uh, test out and, and review, and uh, I really like this. It's a ginormous bottle. It's glass. It has a dropper. Um, you could really nicely um, um, get product out, and it's opaque, so you know that the product doesn't get um, sun or light inside and degrades. It is a, um, I use it as a nighttime uh, serum uh, in, instead of my retinol. So I would alternate this one and my retinol. And it just plumped up my skin. Um, I don't think it's the collagen itself, but it has uh, some acids and it just hydrates the skin really nicely. It never irritated my skin. I just really enjoyed it. It was a really good product. I finished the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. 
that's why I started the body shop oil by the way because I finished this one and um, it's okay it's a very very basic makeup remover and no glory to it nothing wrong with it it wasn't the most cleansing uh, cleansing balm that I had so still my mascara wasn't coming off as easily and I do prefer pretty much anything else to this um, quite similar I feel to the Beauty Bay in terms of experience they're both low-cost uh, cleansing balms if you need something and you don't care for it to be a very luxurious or nice experience this is fine I would rather recommend the body shop one but I know that not everybody has access to the body shop I finished a uh, oil that I was using on my belly the end I keep thinking that you rubbing oils on my belly will help the stretch marks I don't think it will but I have I have it and I bought the bio oil now hoping that it will I'm not convinced but one can always say they tried everything I finished this Sally Hansen maximum growth um, nail polish base words are difficult wouldn't repurchase don't care I don't think it made my nails grow I think it's more hormones and vitamins that are making my nails grow so so long I'm like super happy with them by the way super long I threw out one of these um, facial razors I use them for my uh, moustache and beard area just to get the peach fuzz off um, I don't often go all the way up my cheeks and my forehead and my nose because especially my cheeks my cheeks are more uh, sensitive so I do that once in a while if I feel like it and I know that my skin is in a good place otherwise I really just keep it to this area I am uh, Italian I am blessed with a lot of hair it comes everywhere so it is I finished the Origins Ginseng Oil Free Energy Boosting Moisturizer and I have to say this was not enough moisture for me um, I found that my skin during the day felt not hydrated quite normal as if I had nothing on and I would not repurchase this one maybe it's the oil free part um, maybe it's because my skin is not that oily anymore I'm getting older I had two, three kids uh, two pregnancies and that changed my skin quite a bit so um, I wouldn't repurchase this I'm happy it's over actually Another thing that I uh, would repurchase and I have repurchased is the ginseng eye cream and this is regular one is in a pot and this one is in a little travel package I guess they call it it has a little sponge in the front and you can squeeze out the amount that you need I liked this way of applying it I would squeeze it on my finger and apply I guess you can do this but that would make the sponge really gross so I just applied it on my finger um, I really like this eye cream and I like this better than the pot because I have to go in in the pot with my fingers and I don't like that I prefer my products to be in tubes so that is what I'm I wish they actually made like the tube bigger like this one is not the best in terms of value per uh, milliliter this one is then 10 milliliters and it doesn't cost that much less than the uh, pot which is instead 15 so it's not the best in terms of value I finished my brow ambition by Nabla it's a brow marker I talked about it in my project plan I'm not gonna go through it that much more and the final item can you believe it I finished the Laneige lip mask it's like finished finished this one was the grapefruit one yeah I enjoyed it I would repurchase but I purchased the Nux one instead and I'm a bit regretting it because that one is really waxy but it's that of the Miel so it's honey waxy I don't know it's very waxy this one instead is much more plushy does that make sense um, creamy and soft and bouncy when that whereas that one it's it's really waxy but I use it a nice so it doesn't really bother me like that this one would repurchase I'm not going to until I finish the other ones that I have and that you guys is the end of this video we had a lot of things to talk about favorites updates expired products finished products and now it's done 
let me know what you think of the products that I tried and I talked about if you have opinions if you don't what have you finished this month that you think is worth writing home about or writing on YouTube about I'm curious to hear in the comments I thank you for hanging out with me still and again and I hope to see you in my next video bye guys